Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Disabled Reality. I'm your host, Anthony Laredo Duke. And we have a great topic for today's show in which it is being supportive of those that you love. You know, with everything going on in today's society and stuff like that, we really need to, uh, you know, um, turn things around and really be supportive of one another. You know, um, we really need to stop the, well, if I don't like it, nobody's allowed to like it. If I don't like this place, nobody's allowed to like that place. If I don't like this person, nobody's allowed to like that person. If I don't like this, nobody's allowed to like this. If I don't like that, nobody's allowed to like that. Or if people say, um, ah, that's all bullshit. Ah, whatever you may have did, bullshit. I don't like it. You know, um, we really need to change this around. We really need to start to be supportive. You know, or here's another thing that I hear a lot of people say. You don't do any work. Or your job is not difficult. You don't have a hard job. Only my job is hard. Only what I do is work. We need to stop all this nonsense. We truly do. Honestly. You know, if somebody made something, no matter what, right? No matter how long it took them. Here's what I say. When somebody would, like if somebody made a picture, let's just say I'm giving you an example. If somebody made a picture, and came up to me and said, Hey, Anthony, look at this. Look at this picture that I made. You know, I would always be like, that's a great job that you did. You know, really just be supportive because you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we don't know what that person may have gone through, right? And then to just do anything really, you know, you, you don't know what they may have gone through just to fight to be able to get to that point, just to make like simple things like, like a picture or, you know, whatever they create or whatever, or even whatever work they do. It's always important to be supportive, especially for those that you love and care about, you know? And look for the good in, in things and in people. I know it's not the easiest thing to do, but you got to do it. You got to force yourself to do it. You know, um, and I, I, I'll give you an example. Like, you know, a few years ago when my husband was out of work for like two and a half years and stuff because he had uh, some serious surgery done on his eyes. And um, uh, so he was out of work for quite some time. And one day, I, you know, I came home from, I forgot from where, and um, my husband, you know, was uh, painting our, our, our bathroom in our apartment. It's a small bathroom and stuff. But uh, I came in, I didn't know he was going to do it. And I came home and um, he, he, uh, he wanted to show me his work and I looked inside and I said, you did a great job. He goes, well, yeah, but I, I couldn't, you know, reach a certain spot and, and whatever. I says, who gives a fuck about a teeny tiny microscopic spot that really no one is going to see? Who gives a shit? You did great work. Okay. And on top of that, you did it when you're not feeling well. It looks great. You did the best that you can. You did a great job. That's it. End of story. You know? Or, um, like, whenever he made things, you know, you know, whether it be a website, products, whatever, and um, he would ask me, like, Anthony, what do you think? And I would say, you did a great job. It looks great. 
But here's another thing that I would always say, ladies and gentlemen. I would say what's more important is, do you like it? Do you like what you created? The work that you did? Do you like it? And you would normally say, yes. And I said, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what everybody else in the world thinks. Because they don't pay our bills. If you took the time to do this work, to create these things, and, and honestly and truthfully, he did do a great job. And I'm not just saying that because I'm married to him. I'm saying it because it's the truth. Uh, you know, and I would always say, if you're happy with it, that's really the only thing that matters. Point blank. And these, this is the way that we have to be treating people. This is the way we have to be treating those that we love and care about. You know, anybody can find fault with anything at any time. You know, anybody could turn around and say, I don't like this. For whatever reason. You know, and they can cry and complain. I don't like this. I don't like that. Honestly. And, um... You know, they wouldn't like it done back to them. They sure as hell wouldn't like it done back to them. So what gives them the right to do it to anybody else? Even if something is not our particular cup of tea, per se, it's just time to look for the good in things, you know, and realize that they took the time to do this work or to create these things, okay? No matter how much time they put into it or whatever, that's really irrelevant. It's just a matter of that they did it, okay? And you don't know what a person is going through in order to just to get to that moment to where they can feel okay to do that work or to create these things. So really, you know, it's not right to just put them down. We just got to help support one another. And you know something else? A really good friend, uh, someone who really cares about you, or even someone who truly loves you, um, you know, whether that person is family or a friend or whatever the case may be. If they do something, help promote it. Or if you could, if you could purchase the item or whatever, but help promote it, you know, on, on, on social media. You could share it or whatever the case may be. We need to, to flip the script now, get out of this negativity and start to be more supportive of one another. Honestly. And since we're on the topic of being supportive, here's another thing. We gotta stop making fun of, of other people. You know, I see a lot of these uh, these things about fat shaming and stuff like that. It doesn't matter what a person looks like. Honestly. Tall, short, skinny, fat, whatever the case may be. You know, we gotta stop the, the BS nonsense. Honestly. Stop making fun of, of one, of, 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 a, of a person. You know what I'm saying? It, it's really, we gotta, we gotta stop all this nonsense, like I said. If a person is bad at the heavy set or whatever, no need to make fun of them or to put them down. You know, whether you're fit or, or muscular or whatever the case may be, you got no right at all to say anything negative about somebody else or to make fun of them, if you will. You know, you got no right to do that. 
And even though I hear so many people say, well, I do that to them because I want them to be healthy. That's not what's going to make them healthy. No. That's just making you look like an asshole. Seriously. And I understand about it's important to be healthy. I do. I understand that. But, you know, for me, I see too many people taking things too far. You know, and there's a limit to everything. Honestly. And, um, I mean, staying fit is a great thing. There's no doubt about it. But you don't have to act like an asshole either. Seriously. You know, we're, we're, we are, one of the things that I like to see, that I like to say is, is that everybody's different. And our difference, our differences are what makes us unique. Honestly. You know, the color of the skin, whether you're short, tall, uh, uh, heavy set, or skinny, or, or whatever. Really, we're all unique. And we got to respect one another. And, you know, um, I understand, like, when people have preferences and, and whatever, that's on them, but you have no right. At the same time, you have no right to put anybody else down. Really, or to make fun of them just because you don't particularly like the way that they look or, or whatever. Seriously. So again, we just got to flip the page and be supportive of one another. Honestly. There's so much of the negativity going on and we got to stop all the nonsense. So, but anyways... I want to remind all my fans out there about the website that my husband and I have together called AWLDNY, and the link to there is AWLDNY.com, and you guys can check out all the products that are on there, and all the products that you see on there, we actually make ourselves. So I wanted to, I wanted to mention that, and also I wanted to mention to all my fans out there about my other website that I have called Advocate Information Highway. And the link to there is AIHNY.com. And you guys can check out all the pages on there. And on the homepage of the website, you will see uh, the link to my internet store on Zazzle.com, in which I designed a lot of products and they're up for sale on there. You will also see on the homepage of my website, you'll see the links to both books that I wrote. And you guys can check out both of my books and you guys should purchase both of them as well. And with that, take care, everybody. Bye.